When I was asked by Teachers TV to teach a maths masterclass, I decided to tackle a topic that can be brought alive by a hands-on approach to suit a range of pupil learning styles. It's a topic that is possible to have a lot of fun with. I'm hoping that's what this group of Year 6 students from a number of North London schools will think too. Interesting. Well, hello everybody. Hello. 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 Right, if you've got a fraction on your card, will you raise it in the air? A fraction. Hold it up. Excellent. What about decimal? Hold it up. Hooray. Decimals. Hooray! Decimals. I love decimals. And a percentage. And anything else? Oh. You two look a bit puzzled. Two question marks. We'll come back to those in a minute. If you've got a fraction, what I want you to do is, in a moment, find the equivalent decimal and the equivalent percentage. Because there's three ways of saying the same number. If you've got a percentage, 25%, you want the matching fraction and the matching decimal. All understand? Yeah. So, yes. I want you all up, I want you to get into your groups, and I want you to find your family groups. There's three in your family. When you found your family, give each other a hug. When you found your family, first family. Only hug if there's three of you. Line up. Family, line up here, please. Family over here, girls. Where's your family? Come over here, don't cry, just stand over here. Oh, bless him, bless him. Right, and oh, look at you. Oh, do you love each other? Do you love maths? Yeah. Brilliant, okay, just, just move yourselves up here, shuffle along this one. Yep, you can go just behind the goal, good view. Excellent, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six families, and a very sad <laughs> and lonely third. Oh, what are you still doing up there? You don't have anything, you've got question marks. I tell you what, will you go and chat to him because he looks a bit miserable? Bring your two question marks over. Okay, while they're coming along, we've got. Read it out. 50%. 50%. One half. Shout it. 0 0.5. Are you all equivalent? Yes. Do you all mean the same thing? Yes. Is it just a different way of writing it down? Yes. Brilliant. So we've got. 25%. 0 0.25. One quarter. Equivalent. 0 0.125. 12.5%. 1 eighth. Equivalent! Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Now then, we've got a fraction, we need a decimal, and we need a percentage. But I haven't written one on. I had a problem, I'll talk to you about that in a minute. Do you know what problem I had? Because they're 33.3333. Really? They put an R really? Re reoccurring. What does it mean by recurring? I'm not sure at all about this. Go on. It means if it's like 33.333. Yeah. And it carries on being 3333. For how long? Forever. Really? Got you. Now it's becoming a bit clearer. What I'd like to do is get sat back down. I'm holding that thought. I'm holding a lot of thoughts. I was thinking about this. I was thinking just put 0.3 on. 0.3 plus 0.3 plus 0.3. We need three numbers, don't we? Decimals. Add up to one. What do they add up to? Nine. That's close enough, isn't it, Alex? No. No? You're not happy? No. Good. Why aren't you happy? Because you still need 0 0.1. OK. We're missing 0 0.1. So then I thought, well, how could we improve it? And you've given me some ideas, haven't you? You could just plus 0 0.003 and then 0.003. OK. 0 0.33. Stick another three on. Just one. That would make it 0 0.09. No. Closer. Close enough, yeah? No. No. All right, then I'll put another three on then. That'll do, won't it? No. God. OK, right, that's got to be enough. Come on. No. You're a bit hard, you lot. OK, well, I tell you what, I'll fill up my paper. There you go. Now then. Phew. Can we move on now? OK, who said 0 0.3? You said reoccurring, didn't you? Who was that? Was that you, Ian? Yeah. 0 0.3 recurring. OK, it means we can just go on for, for how long? Ever. Forever and ever and ever. OK, and it will give us a value for, a decimal value for the fraction one third. 
0.3. Now, if I can write that, so 0.33333 gives us 0.3. Now, instead of writing the word recurring, you're clever, you lot. Do you know what I'm going to ask? Yes. OK. Who's your favourite football team? Arsenal. Caught you out, didn't it? Arsenal, Leeds United. Right, what am I going to ask? You're going to ask what sign do we put? Go on, then. You can put either an R or a dot on top of the three. Do the dot. Go on, because I'm not sure what you're on about. I like it. I'm just not sure. I like the dot. Ah, and the dot means recurring, does it? Yeah. And it means it goes on forever. Yeah. Brilliant. OK. So, actually, where's that third family? Where are you? You two and the third. Could you just come back over here a minute, please? OK, do you want to be the decimal or the fraction? Who wants to be the decimal? Do you want to be the decimal? We've sussed that out. What are we going to write on here? 0.3. With that dot on. Yeah, you do that then. You write that on and hold it up to your chest, yeah? So you can show everybody with the dot right above it. Brilliant. So you stand next to your fraction. We've still got the problem of the percentage, haven't we? I know. I'll give you a start, yeah? I'll help you out. I'll put a percentage sign. <laughs> right. So any ideas? Go on, Benji. 33.3. OK, what you've done is you've multiplied this number by... 100. Brilliant! So we've got a shiny, happy family of a thirds. Jump up and down, you're happy. Yay! Skip! Yay! Where are the thirds? Come on, hold hands. Don't be shy. Where are the thirds? We're really happy. Oh, sorry. We're having a private party. Right, you sit yourselves down. Give them a round of applause. Yay. We're all happy. Everybody's got a family. Fantastic. Now then, what about another fraction? Um, two thirds. Two thirds. We've not done that one. What is that as a decimal? Two thirds. Ian? 0 0.6 forever. 0.6 forever? Yeah. So you'd write 0 0.6, yeah? No. Oh. It carries on forever in a pattern. Right. So two thirds is 0 0.6 recurring. One third is 0 0.3 Three. recurring. So, hang on a minute. Two thirds plus one third is? Three thirds. Which is a whole one. A whole one. All right, what's 0 0.6 recurring plus 0 0.3 recurring? Um, 0 0.9 recurring. So we are saying that one is equal to 0 0.9 recurring. Do you know what? I'm glad you said that. Who's feeling hungry? Me. Me. A chocolate bar. A chocolate bar for everybody. OK. Right, there are six chunks. I want you to break. Ready? Break a third off. Break a third off. Go. Break a third. What have you done? What have you got? One third. How many chunks? How many chunks? One third plus two thirds equals... Three thirds, a whole bar. There can be no doubt that two thirds plus one third equals a whole one. So what about 0 0.6 recurring and 0 0.3 recurring? Well, actually, yeah, it equals 0 0.9 recurring, which isn't quite one, is it? Shall I prove to you that it is actually one? OK, so 0 0.9 recurring, is that 0 point loads of nines? Yeah. So what's 10? times that number. Put your hand up. Uh, add 9.9 .9 reoccurring. So, we're going to take 0 0.999999 forever away from 9.99999 forever. Put your hand up if you can tell me what that result gives us. Nine. Nine. Exactly nine. Yeah. It gives us nine. Mm -hmm. OK. Nine take away zero. All this 0 0.999 forever take away 0 0.9999 forever is nothing. So nine times a number equals nine. So the number equals one. One. So 0 0.9 recurring actually equals one. And that's the proof. Now for the interesting bit. We're going to go back. Six of our families had decimals like 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 and 0 0.01. Decimals that seem to stop. Just like buses. They've got a special name. They begin with T. Now, I hope I've caught you out on this one. Surely you won't know this. Tajana. Terminators. Termi? Terminators. Terminators, like the film. Brilliant. Terminating. 
terminating decimals. My bus terminates at King's Cross. <laughs> and then we've got another sort of decimal, which is recurring, recurring which has digits that go on forever, 0 0.3333. Now there are lots more decimals that do that sort of thing. What fraction of a football team is a goalkeeper? And who likes playing in goal? Freddie, up you come. Here's your gloves. Get them on, get into your nets. Come on, quick, 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 quick. Here's a ball. Go on, ready? Save it, ready? Oh, good shot. Oh, watch the lights. Now then, he's the goalkeeper. Uh, how many people in a football team? Uh, is it? 11. 11. 11. 10, more. 10 more, good. Okay, Ruby. Chloe, you're on the team. Up you come. Angus, Benji, Michael, Adbe, Megan, Elena. Do you not like football? Ian and William. Up you come. Have we got 11? Come on, let's do some warm ups. Jogging on the spot, quick. Okay, stop. Press ups. Come on. Oof, oof, oof. Ah, go on, you fit them me right. Stand up. And let's see, all on the touchline, all on the touchline. That's it. Okay, face that goalkeeper. Look at that goalkeeper. Do you think he's good? No. Yeah. Think he's very good? No. He saved my shot. Right, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. What fraction of a football team is the goalkeeper? One eleven. One over eleven. <laughs> Excellent. So, to really understand that fraction, one eleventh, what we need to do is we want the rest of you up. Now then, what I'd like to do is form a pattern all the way around here. But I want you to form a repeating pattern based on your gender. Get into a pattern. Go for it. Talk to each other. The first person in the pattern, we want it right round from the corner flag. Shuffle up, keep shuffling. Girl, boy, girl, boy, girl, boy. So far, so good. Girl, boy, brilliant. Girl, boy, hey, we're getting it. Sit yourselves down. I want you to think about that girl, boy, girl, boy pattern. Girl, boy, girl, boy, girl, boy. We want to write 1 eleventh, okay, as a decimal fraction, as a decimal. Bit of a tricky one. Let's do this one together. Okay, so. How many elevens in one? We can put a few place values in here. Okay, so some zeros. Okay, because it's still one, isn't it? One whole one and nothing in the decimals, okay? So elevens into one. Remainder? Remainder one, Megan, okay? We can't divide 11 in. Remainder one. 11 into 10, can we do that? No. We can't do that. Remainder? Ten. Remainder 10. Right, 11s into 100. 11s into 100. Nine. Nine, Nine remainder? 11s into 10. Nine. I've said that before, haven't I? 11s into 10, no. Remainder? One. Ten. 10. 10. 11s into 100. Nine. I've said that before. What's the next digit going to be? 0 0.09. Oh. Keep going. 0 0.9. 0 0.9. 0 0.9. Girl boy. Girl boy. Just like. Stop. Just like our girl boy pattern. It goes on forever. 0.09. It was two digits that carried on forever, wasn't it? Not just one. Two. Does anyone know how we could write that down with dots? William. Here we come. Put your dots on. Good try. And... Yeah, it's not bad, not bad. We usually just put them straight over, like so, so it's nice and clear. Lovely. 0 0.09, a two-digit recurring pattern, because there are other recurring decimals that recur differently. I'd like you to have a go at the division method. I think you need a bit of practice on the division, OK? I want you to try one-seventh. Who's good at division? Go for it, OK? To start you off, how many sevens divide into one? And I tell you what, I would put a lot of noughts. Goodness me, you've made a good start. Put your decimal point there. That's it, and there. Keep going. Oh, good. You might just need to put a few more noughts.